Hello again, everybody. Uh, about sentencing is a difficult subject. Just wanted to um, just go over a few details, quick details, and hopefully it'll it'll give you a guidance how to how to understand them. First of all, here is an easier diagram to understand. This is the computer that we've always been talking about. It's called the PCM. It can be called the ECM. Same function. This is the information. Doesn't matter if it's an engine coolant temperature sensor, intake air temperature sensor, throttle position sensor. This is an input of the of the present conditions that are going on, related to air, related to coolant temperature, and it goes into the PCM to tell it what's going on. So therefore, the lines that you see, one is a ground line. There are two connections. This is a resistor that changes value, resistance according with the coolant temperature so therefore the signal line is this line the yellow 410 going to this one PCM so if you see ECT you'll understand it's engine coolant temperature sensor and there's only two wires involved standard if you're talking about the air the temperature of the air also you see this arrow that means it changes value according to the temperature of the air where is the signal input? This is the input right here. This is just the ground. So therefore, again, two, you, if you look for the sensors, expect to see two pins, two wires. This one and this one. Therefore, you know you're, you're going and you're searching in the right place for that sensor. If you see three wires, chances are it's not coolant temperature it's not intake air temperature that's how you can notice it and remember there has to be a signal line going back to this computer telling it information what's going on how hot is the air how hot is the coolant temperature another one famous one is like the mass airflow sensor some measure density of air some measure the volume of air some measure load engine load of the engine vacuum of engine absolute pressure manifold uh, absolute pressure again inputs to the PCM all these are inputs the line for that as you can see is sensor signal wherever you see a sensor signal that means this is giving an output this is giving an input and getting an input again this is three wires two wires two wires that's how you can tell okay so if I'm looking for a map sensor and I see a sensor with electrical wiring and I see only two wires, chances are I'm in the wrong place. Has to be three wires. Throttle position sensor. When you open the throttle, right, you hit the gas pedal to let more air in. How many wires? One, two, three. This is called a pot. Where is the sensor? Right here in the middle one. So therefore, if I'm looking for a throttle position sensor and I see a connector, it has only two wires. Am I in the right place? No. I have to look for three wires. If I'm looking for engine coolant temperature sensor and I find a connector with electrical wires, it has three wires. Am I in the right place? No. Why? I'm looking for two wires. So, so that's a hint right there. Many times I also I wonder which is which. I look for the number of wires. So I thought this is an easier way of understanding what's going on. Input, 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 input. Has to have information. Let's get to the next one. Now, same thing schematic-wise. Absolute pressure. Now, where is this information going to? We just said this is going to, this is giving this a PCM, has to give this a voltage. In this case, a 5-volt reference right and also it's giving it a ground so it's giving it a, a, a 5 volt reference and it's giving it a ground where's the output over here pin 62 this is pin 14 so therefore input input it's like a comparator i don't want to get too technical but anyway two inputs one output the output will go back to the PCM, which gave the which gave the five volt and the ground in the first place. Can you imagine? So therefore, 
If the PCM did not get five volts to this or a ground, you won't get no output going back to the PCM. It's like a cycle, isn't it? Now, if you have transmission problems or you think you have slipping or things like that, many times you're going you're gonna to say the first thing that comes to uh, a person's mind is, oh boy, a transmission problems. No, not so. Not necessarily. You have computers, module controlling computer modules. There's a transmission control module, okay? In charge of transmission, in charge of in charge of torque, in charge of other things also. Therefore, this one over here, this is the standard ECM or like a PCM. Wherever you see input, that means it's an input to this one. Wherever you see it's an output, that means it's an output to something else. So the engine control module is communicating to the transmission control module. Back and forth they're going. Okay, controlling the transmission, the gear shift, uh, and everything, the torque and everything. Therefore, ECM data output, it gives the data of what's going on from the sensors, giving this information to this pin. That's an output. Park neutral switch, this one is giving it, make sure that it's in park and neutral, which we need to start the car. Torque ma management input, whatever that is, whatever that is. It doesn't, there's no description of what it is. What it is, it is an input. This one, MIL input, this is giving information if there's a problem and the malfunction light will go on in the dashboard. So if there's a problem with the transmission, let's say there's a, a, a low level on a, a, a transmission fluid or something, it'll give it a malfunction line. That's what MIL means. So therefore, the output is coming from here and can be an input to this one. The commoner output, that's obviously the 2,000 RPM, 3,000 RPM that you always see that, right? It's an output, but it's going into this transmission. So what do you see? After all this is said and done, torque reduction input from the ECM, giving this, this is the input from the ECM, telling it to reduce the torque or how to adjust the torque, torque reduction request input. And you have two of them coming from another module. So we have two inputs telling it how it should adjust the torque. So if you have problems with the torque or something, you have problems with the transmission, don't jump right away to say it's a transmission. It could be the TCM is not doing its job. That's why I just wanted to quickly go over this. So don't take it for granted. Any, everything is a transmission. Everything is an engine. E modules are involved in everything, as I've been saying. Again, the PCM. This is the malfunction light that, we, that we're talking about. To ignition, here it is. Malfunction control. If there's a problem, the PCM receives a, a, a control line that there's a malfunction indicator lamp has to go on in your dashboard. Okay? So... Just to reiterate, I just wanted to make it things much more clearer. The main computer is talking to the transmission control module. Transmission control module is talking to the main computer. They decide what to do. If you have problems, like I said, shifting or whatever, slipping, whatever, can't always blame it on that transmission. This is a main point. This is a world of computerized electronic fuel injection and transmissions. Everything is electronic. Therefore, you have to use a good amount of uh, uh, electronic wisdom. And let's see if there's anything else. Let me make sure. Sure. And the next one will be about oxygen sensors. But anyway, thanks for the views. Uh, July was a good month. I had more, more the most minutes ever watched. Uh, I really helped, and I want to keep up that pace. And thanks for the viewers and the subscribers. Um, like I said, I've been doing it since actually I think a couple of a year and a half, a little more. It takes time, but it, and it obviously takes effort and a lot of preparation, pr preparing. That's for sure. But anyway, thanks for the good month of July. Thank you.